Welcome to the Zero G Vocaloid tutorial. Once you know the basic procedure, creating vocal tracks in Vocaloid is actually quite easy. In this quick tutorial, we'll show you the steps you might use to create a short vocal phrase. This is just one example, and once you're familiar with the way Vocaloid works, you will undoubtedly find a procedure that works best for you. This short exercise will get you started with the basics. First, launch the Vocaloid application. When you do so, a new empty sequence will automatically be created for you. While you're at the beginning of the sequence, you will see the initial tempo and time signature settings at the beginning of the tempo and beat rulers, respectively. You can double-click on either of these to change their value as required. Now, let's enter the notes. Click on the Pencil Tool button to select it. Then, starting at measure number 1, use the Pencil Tool to enter the notes of your sequence. If you have a steady hand, you can freely click and drag the notes to the required length, but it's probably easier to use the Vocaloid grid and the preset note lengths. Now, let's enter some lyrics for the notes we just entered. Select the Pointer Tool. Double-click the U above the first note to enter the lyric editing mode. Then enter the first word and press Enter on your computer keyboard. Repeat this for the remaining notes, entering one word per note. If you use a word with two or more syllables, then remember to use a separate note for each syllable. These should be linked by a hyphen. When you've entered the lyrics, click the phoneme transformation button to convert the lyric text into data that Vocaloid can sing. Now you can play back your basic track to hear how it sounds and check that the phoneme transformation has produced the lyrics and pronunciation you had intended. Move the sequence track to a position a bit before the first note in your track. Do this by clicking briefly in the measure ruler at the appropriate location and then start playback by clicking the on-screen transport play button or by pressing the space or enter key on your computer's keyboard. The sequence will stop automatically when the end is reached, but you can also stop playback at any time by clicking the on-screen transport stop button or by pressing the space or enter key on your keyboard. My name is Lola. To improve the pronunciation, you may need to manually change some of the phonemes to get a more realistic effect. In order to do this, first click the phoneme button to highlight the phonemes for each note. Now let's change the Z for an S and the at sign for a bracket to make it sound more like a real person singing. Now let's change the velocity of the notes. Simply select Velocity from the control menu and use the pointer tool to either increase or decrease the velocity of each individual note by clicking on the corner of the note's velocity envelope and pulling it up or down as required. At this point, no expression has been added to the track, so the lyrics will sound rather flat and computer-like. So let's add some expression to make the track sound a little more realistic. If the icon palette is not already showing, select Icon Palette from the View menu. Now you can simply drag some basic expression objects to your vocal track. Start with Attack. Drag the Legato Attack icon to the third note. Now drag the Fast Bend Up Attack icon to the fourth note. Now for some vibrato. Drag the Normal Vibrato icon onto each note. The vibrato objects are automatically applied to the last half of the note on which they are placed, so you'll need to grab the leading edge of the vibrato objects, the cursor will change to a red double-headed stretch arrow, and stretch them to the right length. We can also add some crescendo to our sequence.
Now, let's add some pitch bend to the last note. Select Pitch Bend from the Control menu. Click the Free Control Entry Mode button and use the pencil tool to draw in some pitch bend. And now the final touch to our first track, some fine tune control. Start by selecting brightness from the control menu. Click the free control entry mode button and use the pencil tool to draw a curve. Then do the same with the clearness control. The control track is essential to the in-depth tweaking that can bring your vocal tracks to life. There are many more controllers that you can use, such as noise, resonance and gender factor. OK, now play the track again and hear how it sounds. My name is Lola. Although each Vocaloid track is strictly monophonic, a Vocaloid sequence can have as many as 16 separate tracks. Let's add a new track to our sequence. Select Track 1 and select Copy from the Track menu. You will now have created a new track containing the same data as your original track. The first thing you'll want to do to create a chorus is select a different singer, if you have one, for the second voice. Obviously, a combination of different singers is going to sound more realistic than copies of the same singer. Next, you can change the pitches of the notes to create harmonies by simply dragging them up or down the appropriate pitches. You will also probably want to adjust the second singer's attack, vibrato and other parameters to give him or her some individuality while maintaining the best possible musical blend. When your masterpiece is complete, you'll want to save it for posterity. Select the Save item from the File menu and follow the standard file save procedure. Or you can export your creation as a WAV file by selecting the appropriate option from the File menu. And that's how easy it is to create great vocal lines using Vocaloid. <laughs>